Shady Brook is one of those places. Where we all know each other and the, the marshal lives right behind the trees, the fire marshal, and it keeps us updated on what's going on with the fire. Most of the time that means a holler across the road. But now... They see the smoke in the afternoon, so that's what makes them nervous. And here's Capulin. Yeah. So you're up here somewhere. Yeah, we're the updates are a little more frequent. We have most of our type one uh, crews in, in this area yeah. working with the dozers. So what they're doing is as the dozer goes through, he, they're following up and they're improving on that line. A little more official. A thunderhead built Monday as it did Sunday afternoon. It got over the fire and it, uh, it forced the air down. And what, what it does then is it goes out in all directions. Sometimes the smoke came down on us and an hour later you look out and we didn't have any smoke. Crews forged a fire line along the southern flank of the fire Sunday night. Doug Scott's studio and home are four miles from it, but he's packing some sculpting tools and a few unfinished pieces. I don't want to just be bored sitting off somewhere watching the canyon burn. I, I want to do some work. But he and his family are not leaving yet. There's a meeting tonight for everyone who lives in Taos Canyon. Thank you. Uh -huh. Sometimes a holler across the road won't quite do.